Going live in a Facebook group looks a little different now than it used to. So I'm going to show you what I'm seeing here and uh, maybe it'll help you as well. So I'm in this group and I'm going to go ahead and click on live video on the left hand side. Okay, right there. And then up below write something. Uh, or if you don't see that one, then maybe you have to click on write something and then hopefully you'll see the live video here or sometimes you have to click on more to be able to see the live video. Anyway, it's the same button. So let's click on this one. We were here. Okay, here, uh, basically, uh, this is a, you know, basically, you know, it's like you're making a bigger deal out of it if you go in this direction because it'll create an event in the group, etc. I'm just going to go live right now. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just click on this one here, set up live video. And then, um, okay, it says, welcome to live producer. A um, few ways to go live. Uh, you know, I, this is... I haven't tried all these methods, but basically, um, if you're not sure, just go ahead and stick with the first one and because they'll probably give you suggestions for these other methods. So you might want to try them out, but I'm just going to go with the first one and click get started. Okay. And then recommended video source, um, streaming software is more fancy. <laughs> it's for people who know what, you know, know what that is, know what they're doing. Most of us are just going to use webcam. So I'm going to click on webcam here because that's what I do as well. Whoops. Okay. Kind of, can, apparently I can't do that right now. So I'm going to click on next. Um, oh, it's giving me a tutorial here. So yes, this is where I put the title and description of the live video. Next. Okay. Let's see here. Click live down here when we're done. I'm going to click done here. So basically now I can click on webcam. Here we go. <laughs> webcam. Okay. And then it's giving me more tips. I'm going to X this out. Uh, and then checking to see, make, make sure that this is the right camera and this is the, um, the right mic. And you can kind of see if it's working because you can kind of, you can kind of see the waves going, you know, as I do this. If I, if I'm quiet, you'll see it kind of disappears. Okay. See, now when I talk again, you can see. Anyway, so that's how you choose a, a mic and a, and a camera. Uh, let me see what else is, uh, here. You can see, um, the preview of the video. I'm, waving right now and then uh choose where to you know your your profile let's see post in the group or where else you can choose i guess different places you can basically from this dialogue you can even go live elsewhere on your timeline or on a business page or something like that but i'm right now i'm posting in this group when am i going live apparently you could set up the event already right here and uh anyway uh settings let's see what else is here stream viewer um, this is, this is, uh, some fancy stuff that I haven't really explored. I think the default options, honestly, are probably just fine for almost everyone here watching this. Uh, but anyway, you could play around with these viewer options, allow viewers to rewind. Yes. Generated captions. Yes. Uh, allow our viewers to message you directly from your live video. Sure. Why not? Um, just in case they can't hear me or something like that. But if you are going live on in a large group or a large profile or page, then you might get too many messages. I don't know, but why not? It's a, it's a nice, nice thing to, to allow. And, uh, back to stream setup, um, here, title and, and description. I'm just going to write, uh, something here. Um, give me a second here. All right. I've gone ahead and written a few things and let's go ahead and go live now and see what that looks like. Three, two, one. All right. So I believe I'm live because it says live here. I'm recording a quick tutorial right now about what the Facebook live looks like. And look, it already has three seconds into it. You see? So when this thing counts up, you're already a few seconds in. At least that's my experience. So that's why it's important to, um, to understand that, to test out what it's like when you record live. And um, you might want to create a private Facebook group to try that out. And then go ahead and um, know that it's usually a few seconds and you kind of start talking after you click go live. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish my video for my group and then I'll be back. Okay, I've gone ahead and made my video for my group. It's now two minutes into it. I'm going to go ahead and click on end live video now. 
and let's see what happens. Oh, look, already I see two viewers, reaction. <laughs> so comments, shares, clips is a brand new thing that they're, they're kind of rolling out. So I'm not going to talk about that right now. But, uh, you know, I can, I can even write a comment on the right hand side, testing one, two, three. And you could see that there is my comment. And by the way, those who are watching right now live, if you can add a comment below, that'll, that'll help the tutorial, but, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can see here that there are two people watching live right now. And I'm still live because the, you know, it's the, the, the timer is still counting up. And, um, I can even pin the, the comment to the top if I wanted to. Now it's pinned. Yeah, pinned comment. There you go. There, there I am. And, uh, and I can click on the refresh button. Like if I'm not sure whether or not someone, oh, there we go. Ansi, thank you so much for your comment there. I can click on the refresh just in case. And uh, there you are. Okay, I'm going to end the live video and you can see what this looks like here. Okay, end live video. Yes, end. And live video is ending. All right, so now that I've ended the live video, I can view post, trim my video, create a clip from the video. Um, I can rate the broadcast quality. Uh, you know, I, I don't know why they, um, why they ask us to do this because I haven't even viewed the video, so I don't know how the broadcast quality was. Anyway, um, these things are the same down here. I can still see the comments, uh, num number of comments, reactions. Oh, and Daniel says, hey, George, there. So that's great. Thank you. Oh, and I could create a poll right away in there. I, um, yeah, it's for people who are wanting to, well, just like you said, you know, just like it sounds, create a poll, uh, live there. Um, let's see, post details. I don't know what alerts are. You can, I can tag game if I'm doing that. Um, but at this point, I'm basically going to click on return home because it's already available. So anyway, I can click on trim video if I want to. I don't think I need to for this one, but I can click on view post and there it is. There's the post. It's for three, three minutes and 20 seconds, which is, um, longer than I thought it was going to be. And it's, it's live in the group. And if I go to the group right now, and uh, go to the group, scroll down, and there it is. And uh, there's my pinned comment. You know, I don't think the comment is pinned afterwards. I think it's only pinned during the event because I don't see any way that this. I don't see. I don't see how this is pinned. Uh, but anyway, those are the com anyway. So that's that's about it. I hope this is helpful. <laughs> a bit of a longer video than I expected, but uh, go for it. Play with the Facebook Live, and if you have any other tips. For others, also comment below. Thank you so much.